people at 11 o'clock in neighborhood under siege. People fed up saying pests are taking over their homes. 10 News anchor Brian Schlonsky shows what you can do to fight back if you have rodents trying to get in. Yeah, county vector control tells me some of these animals hardly need any room at all to get inside your home. Rats, for example, only need the space about the size of a quarter. And mice, well, even smaller than that. What you doing? What you doing up there? In Pacific Beach. We got us a new pet. The new pets, or pests as some call them. Gross. <laughs> yeah, we see them quite a bit, uh, places they shouldn't be. Seem to be popping up a lot lately. I actually saw a family of raccoons just walking across the lawn. In yards, on trees. Actually, a ton of them around PB that I'd be driving by, they're crossing down the street. Or worst of all. Yeah, we do have a rat problem here. So I actually have seen a few dead ones. Inside homes. A uh, bunch of rats, mice, roaches, um, possums, raccoons. For Dustin Nieder, it's not just the diseases they can carry that worry him. Well, they killed our monitor lizard, I think. Um, those animals can't really be stressed much. And we've got just rats all the time. After, after the sun goes down, you hear them all night. More neighbors taking to social media to air their frustrations. So we called the county to see why there may be a sudden surge. Ecologists with vector control say it's hard to pinpoint one thing, but wouldn't be surprised if winter rains enhanced conditions. It could be because of uh, the trash, maybe. Trash, which can be spotted in almost any alley you look, gives animals more availability to shelter and water. Ecologists say overgrown vegetation and piles of junk also give homes to pests. Neater has another theory. People are coming in, buying the homes and flipping them, and they're tearing them down. And when they tear them down, they don't realize how many residents were living underneath. The county offers free inspections for rat problems, and they also give education to homeowners. But pest control? That's up to you. And rodent proofing your home can be an option, but that can be pretty expensive. One easy tip, just put the lid on your trash cans. Brian Shalonsky, 10 News.